Hi guys, so I'm just going to show you um, how to download and install all these Silent uh, factory preset racks so that you can um, browse, load and control every Silent factory preset. There's about 500 of them um, directly from Push. Um, so after you've got the racks from Mableton, um, you get this uh, screen sent to you um, and you click on the zip folder icon um, so that the silent presets will appear in your download folder. And there it is there in my download folder. I extract the zip file and within the silent folder um, you can see all the different categories there and, and actually these are all um, categorized now probably you don't like in the silent interface you have to go across one two three four and there are some arps or some keys um, in each section now you've got all the arps together um, all the keys together uh, etc um, which is really good on, on, on push they've still got the numbers in case you know the numbers and you like the numbers so they go in the case of arps they go down to 21 then they jump to 129 30 um, but you have got them all in one folder and push as you'll as you'll see in a minute so the next thing you want to do is locate your um, Ableton user library. You might know where it is. If you don't, uh, go to Spotlight, put in user library, it'll come up there. Hit that. So after you hit that, user library will come up. Uh, you want to go to presets, uh, instruments, instrument rack, and then you'll see I've already got silent in there, but what you will do is go to your downloads folder, get silent and just drag it across to there um, and then uh, you'll have it there in your instrument rack and next you want to go to live down to places to user library the same location but within live so user library presets instruments instrument rack um, and you'll see silent has come up there uh, and then take that silent folder and drag it across to places and drop it there. You'll see I've done that already so that it's, it's in places. Uh, and then we can go down to push and find it there. Okay, so you might need uh, to give Ableton a few minutes for places to um, find it and recognize it. You might need to take the USB cable out of push and put it back in or something. But pretty soon um, Silent will appear in places there um, and with all of its folders so you've got all the apps in one place as I said all the keys all the leads all in one place um, so we can load up uh, the first one okay once you've loaded up you'll get this screen here we'll talk about the macros in a minute um, but you hit device sorry first then you get this screen uh, then you want to hit in twice and you'll see all the banks there and each bank each bank has a bunch of uh, parameters that you can uh, control and in fact there are uh, a lot of banks, a lot of controllable parameters in Silent. Um, so there are 16 banks, each of 8 parameters already set up for you for each of the 500 um, presets. So if we play something Go to bank one or tweak from within push. Okay, now like I said, there's a lot of parameters um, and 16 banks to go through to find them uh, on silent. But what you can also do with these racks is choose your favorite eight for each preset or maybe even for each project um, that you happen to be using uh, and map those so that you get them on the first screen. Uh, I'll show you what I mean. So here you go to silent um, and this one that we've loaded up and you click this arrow button. You can see all the parameters that have been loaded for you there lots and lots of them okay so let's say you want to find the ones that you want on the front screen you go to configure here you choose some let's choose some at random so this one map to macro one let's take this one 
map to macro 2 for example. You'll see them appear there on the front screen which will be the front screen on push and then just hit configure again okay then when we go back to the front screen of push when we hit device you'll see uh, those parameters have appeared on the first two uh, there on the front screen so if we hit the in button twice we find all the banks there but what you've effectively done is selected your favorite from all the banks the favorite eight you can select and put them so that when you hit device and you go onto the first screen of the device uh, the macros the eight macros are controlling them there okay that's about it so you can see uh, now you've got in places silent you've got all of the different categories there and all of the 500 or so presets all ready to go, each of them with 16 banks uh, of parameters for you to tweak uh, and you can choose your favorite eight um, to put on the front screen as well. That's it. Have fun.